Okay, in this video, let's go over some frequently asked questions. Okay, in Solar Forest, how can I be sure that I'm actually collecting GPS data? Well, the status bar right here uh, will give you a good indication. All right, if we look at this horizontal bar right here um, above the toolbars, and sometimes if you don't see it on your screen, it's a matter of toggling these toolbars on and off, and that should allow you to um, that to become visible. Sometimes it gets hidden by them. So just toggling the toolbars on and off will usually bring back your status bar. Okay, so on my particular uh, screen right here, DGPS means that I've got corrected GPS, but if you've got just regular GPS, that's fine also. Okay, the H dot value just tells me the quality of my GPS position data. And here's the number of satellites that I'm tracking. I happen to be tracking 12 out of 12, which is pretty good. You do need at least four satellites to be um, to get a, a, um, a 3D GPS position. Okay, and um, the, the bottom values right here are simply your lat long coordinates. Okay, um, I'm going to zoom out right here, and you'll see that your my current position is the flashing crosshairs. Now I'm a good ways away from my um, actual waypoints there. Okay, um, if you choose the um, here's a button on the on the uh, on the zooming toolbar that will allow you to, um, to for your GPS to follow you, and what that'll do is it will never let your GPS position leave the screen. So if I pan the screen, and uh, you'll see that. After I pan the screen, it will automatically um, repan itself so my position doesn't leave the screen. And this is handy when you're collecting cruise data in the field. You want to make sure that your GPS position stays on the screen. But later on, after you get back um, away from the project, if you want to be able to zoom and see your plots that you've collected or some data that you've collected, you may need to toggle this off to allow you to zoom Okay, and you'll see my GPS position is actually way down uh, to the southeast. So you'll see that's why the uh, arrow is is flashing in the in the lower corner of the, of the screen. Okay, the uh, some of the toolbar buttons. The first button on the toolbar is zoom to full extent. What that does is it zooms you out to the full extent of your data, your G, your current GPS position, and any data layers that you have on the screen. Okay, the next button is zoom to log data. So what this will do is it'll log me into positions that I've already logged, like my three cruise points. All right, the next button is the zoom window. So when you click on that, it gives you the ability to click on the screen and drag a, a, a box <coughs> to zoom to. You'll notice that it's only active for one use, and then you have to toggle it back on again. It's only active whenever it's highlighted right there, and I'm going to toggle it off again. Okay, this is the fix zoom in, and here's the fix zoom out. Next button is the zoom to previous, previous extent, and it remembers the last several uh, zoom extents, keeps those in queue. Okay, and this is the refresh your screen. In the event you ever have a uh, like an aerial photo loaded and your screen becomes fuzzy, um, you can hit refresh right here and it'll redraw the screen and clean things up. Okay, this is the, again, this is the follow GPS. Um, this first button on the other toolbar, this is the data collection toolbar, this is log width and generally you're going to have this set for log with GPS. Alright, the next toolbar button is the stylus select and here's all your stylus select options, manual XY, selects base map, selects whole feature, deletes multiple points, selects log data, does freehand redlining and edits base map features. Okay, check your manual for all the individual functions on those, it's too much to cover here. Okay, this is the log static button if you want to log a static point. Grid generate, this is log dynamic if you want to collect positions, uh, a set of streaming positions as you move. Uh, this is the measure tool, it's a real neat tool that will allow you to click points on the, uh, on the map and get the distance. It will also give you area too. Okay, it will show you the actual distance between each uh, segment and it will give you the total area at the bottom. Uh, to toggle the measure tool off, you can just click the measure tool again. All right, this is the navigate tool. This allows you to go back and choose from the map. Uh, you can choose a position to navigate to. Like, uh, let's say I choose that particular waypoint. And here it tells me start walking north, and it'll give me my distance. And uh, it'll draw two arrows right there to help me navigate. Okay, I'm going to close out of that. 
and uh, you also have the ability to navigate to a location if you type in a lat long coordinate be sure to use those that format if you want to do that you can choose a particular waypoint to navigate to okay or you can choose a point that you've logged on the on the map okay I typically use the map screen uh, or the map tab to help me choose which uh, position to navigate to the menu right here gives you the ability to change your stylus use or, or to do some zooming okay so so that you don't have to cancel back out to the main map screen to be able to select something or, or resume okay so I'm going to cancel out of here all right the last button on the toolbar is the uh, is is the export screen and this allows you to export your GPS data out <clears throat> in a shapefile format a text file format AutoCAD DXF and a couple of others okay we're going to close out of that okay so that's mainly the frequently asked questions in solo let's go over and check out T Cruise okay back in T Cruise let's go through some frequently asked questions here all right first one is how to close out of T Cruise well that's simple you go to the file menu and click exit now you if you ever see the toolbar buttons on the uh, on the bottom of the screen uh, grayed out or if you see file exit grayed out then you'll know that that is when you're in the middle of a let's say that we're in the middle of a plot okay and um, I want you to see this you will not be able to exit out of the program if you're in the middle of a plot you will have to abandon that plot to be able to close out okay um, how do we edit uh, a plot that we've already visited well that's simple you start from the main T crew screen and you're gonna go to the edit menu and you're gonna go to edit plot Now you really have two choices here edit plot and edit plot by ID edit plot allows you to choose the plot number based on the order in which you visited it okay so I think number plot number two is a no tally plot and I just want to verify that so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna type in plot number two to edit and I'm gonna go I'm gonna hit OK and this takes me over and yes I, I can verify that that was a no tally plot okay so I'll, I'll just save out of that okay and uh, the other option is the edit plot by ID and what that does is it gives me the ability to look and edit my plot just by looking at the waypoint number from solo so I can come in this list and I can see that okay all of these are uh, my first my third plot fell in stand one but um, stand uh, our plots um, one and two were in the the PPL or pine plantation okay and then I can look at the um, the plot ID ID 49 44 or 41 and those correspond to the waypoint numbers on my map in solo okay so I'll just cancel out of this okay how do I edit my plot level info well to do that you've actually got to edit a plot or the plot in question let's say we want to go to plot number three and we want to edit maybe our stratum ID okay so I'm gonna to go to the edit menu from here once I've got the plot open I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna to to plot info and this brings me to my uh, plot info so maybe I want to change this one to PPL okay so I, I can click there hit OK and then I can save my changes to the plot and that has been updated okay next question is I accidentally created a plot how do I delete it okay if you uh, let's just say that uh, plot number two was accidentally created I can go to edit and I can delete delete a plot and I'll just type in plot number two and hit OK. Now fortunately for us there is an undelete here as well so that if you make a mistake you do have the ability to go back and undelete that plot. Next question is I need to change my default species code. Maybe you get into a stand that has a, a certain a predominant of one particular species and, it's, um, and you want to change your default species. Well, if you want to do that you can go to the edit menu and you can go to current params current params and you can uh, and this is your default um, default species if you need to change your cruise method you can also do it here on this screen now let's say even though you've done your first three plots as 10th acre if you need to change uh, and you, you think you need to change your cruise method for the rest of the track you could always go in here and change let's say you needed to go to a, a fifth acre plot well, you can change that value right here and from for the rest of the plots on this cruise until you made another change 
the rest of the plots would be tagged as fifth acre plots, whereas the first three were tagged as tenth acre plots. Okay, so I'm just going to cancel out of this as I'm not going to save those changes. Next question is, my handheld locked up on the middle of a plot. Will I lose any data? You will lose the data from that plot, but we, you will not lose the crews altogether. Okay, uh, every time that you finish a plot, when you hit the save plot button, that saves the crews and it pins it to the currently active crews. So the answer is you have the ability or you have the potential to lose the plot that you're on, but not your whole crews. Okay, maybe you accidentally create uh, or you accidentally close out of a plot, and you need to re and you need to manually create another one to replace it. What you'll do here is you'll hit the plus button down here on the toolbar, and that will manually create a new plot. Now you will have to enter the the um, you may have to manually fill in the strata and the plot ID, and um, and don't worry about the lat long coordinate. You can actually capture that using the GPS button, and um, and that's the way you do it. Okay, last thing is, is there a limiting distance table in, uh, in T-Cruise? And lo and behold, there is. If you go to the Ops menu, you got limited distance. And um, if you're doing, if your current cruise method is set for um, point sampling um, or, or plot sampling, you can choose, you, you can type in the, uh, the plot size or the base area factor. And then you can, um, and then you can put in the percent slope if there is one if you do have some slope and you can calculate the radius. Okay, in this particular example I'm on a plot sample so it's um, all I can do is just calculate the the radius right there. Now let me go back and do an example here if I were doing point sampling and I were doing a 10 BAF now when I go the limiting distance. I have the ability to put in the uh, the DBH. Let's say it's a 13.2, and uh, I can hit calculate radius, and there we have it. Okay. All right. Hope this helps.